Hello everyone, this is Googie from Nextrealm team. In this video, I will explain to you how to use Nextrees add-on. After you have installed the add-on, you will see it on this bar right here. We have different variations of trees. Choose any tree you like to add it to your scene. Note that the tree will be added to the 3D cursor place in your scene. I'm choosing this tree for example and clicking on append to add it. Once you click on append and the tree is added to the scene, you will see this message saying go to edit mode to draw. So let's switch to edit mode and if we draw a line, you will be drawing the shape of the tree. Every tree has its own description which you can read it under the thumbnail of the tree. The trees we have are procedural and there are three main things to edit on the tree the shape the texture and the optimization so in the shape menu first thing we have is the seed every time you change the seed you will get a different variation of the tree you can hide or unhide the leaves of the tree by simply clicking on the leaves button leaf spacing is the space between each leaf the less space you put between the leaves, the more leaves you will see on the tree. For now, I'm putting the spacing to 0.4. Leaves scale is basically to control the leaf scale. Make them bigger or smaller, however you like. Branches length is to control the length of the branches. Let's put it at 5 for example. Looks cool. I'm turning off the leaves to focus on the branches. I'm changing it to 3. Bending is to control the bending of the branches towards the sky or to the ground. You can control the bending however you like. Bark width is to control the width and the thickness of the tree's bark. Bark displacement is to control the displacement of the bark. Increase it and decrease it however you like which you can make a different variation looks of the bark. And here you can enable or disable the root of the tree if you want them to appear in the scene or not. Last thing here is the growth controller, where you can control the growth of the tree and its leaves. You can also make an animation out of it. Like if we put keyframes for the growth values, we can make a short animation like this one. The second panel which is the texture, which mostly have controls about the leaves of the tree. So first option, translucency, and it's 0.3, which is optimal value for it. Snow feature, you can enable the snow effect on the leaves by changing the value to 1, and changing it to 0 to disable it. Wet feature, basically the same as snow but it adds wetness to the leaves. Death feature controls the age of the leaves and make them look old and about to fall off the tree. For example, if we increase the leaves spacing to 0.4, the tree will look like it's very old and many of its leaves have fallen off. The last three options here will control the color of the leaves and you can play with this one however you like to fit you with your scene. The third panel is optimization. So let's click on this tree and see its information. We will see that it's 90,000 vertices. And the resolution option is to control the curves of the branch. And the less resolution you put for the tree, the more poly count you will have for the tree. For example, if we set the resolution to 2, the branches now look flat and the vertices count dropped to 6000. You can tweak the settings to however you like to fit your scene. Delete branches 1, 2 and 3 basically will control removing a specific level of branches that you want to remove. So there are main branches and branches that are coming out of it and another branches that are coming out of it. And if you remove all the branches, the tree will be left out with the leaves only. You can use this feature to reduce the load on your scene. 
Last thing for optimization is the proxy, which will turn the trees into a low poly object with the least amount of vertices, just for the sake of reducing the load on your scene. You can use this as a place marker where it will show there is a tree here, but you don't want to put too much load on your scene. And that's it for this add-on. I guess now you know how to use it. If you have any comments or anything you want to add, make sure you put it in the comments section. Thank you for watching and see you later.